raining outside, if you can't tell. Check this out. So, I ordered this off Amazon, this carburetor PZ30, and it arrived the next day. That's pretty impressive. So this is almost pretty much identical to what's on there, except for it's bigger diameter, noticeably bigger. But it's supposed to be the same bolt pattern on the front here, so it should bolt right on there. This is a PZ27 on here right now. So it shouldn't be too difficult to swap this out. However, I noticed that this intake, the diameter of the intake here is bigger. So I don't know if it's gonna fit on the factory air boot but i did check the bolt pattern here and it is the same so it should bolt on the quality doesn't look too bad for for the price i think it was around 30 dollars canadian and it comes with two fuel filters gaskets, some fuel line, fuel clamps. It's surprisingly, surprisingly good. There's only one bolt that holds the side cover on. You probably don't need to remove it to access the carburetor, but I'm not sure about the air intake. So I'm just gonna take this off. So I'm gonna turn the fuel shut off here to the off position. And then I'm just gonna run it and let the fuel drain out of the carburetor burn out. Little Honda will probably run forever. I'll let it run for a while, but I don't want it to get too hot. It seems like the Honda will run forever on that bowl full of fuel in the carburetor so probably burned most of the fuel out out of the bowl so I'm gonna have to disconnect the fuel line unscrew this and get at the throttle cable pull this out here I'm gonna have to compress this spring to get at the end of the throttle cable and pull that out. Then we'll change the top hat to the bigger to the bigger diameter. And then it's only two nuts. One on this side and one on the other side and the fuel line. And that's about it. There's a drain tube that goes down there. There's really not much to it. This intake tube should just pull off now. When you compress the spring, the throttle cable will stick out enough that you can slide it past this slot here. And then you can get it down and out like that. Now this is an aftermarket throttle cable because the factory top hat was mated to the factory throttle cable, which made it difficult to do carb swaps. So I put an aftermarket throttle cable in on the, uh, on the carb swap. But here we are doing it again after I put the big bore kit in here. It used to be a 150cc 
57 diameter piston and now it's a 70 diameter, 70 millimeter diameter, 222cc. Okay, I got the nuts off here with a 10 mil wrench and I pulled the fuel line off in between the fuel tank and the carburetor. So I already have an inline fuel filter there. So I disconnected it at the fuel filter there. So now this should just pull off. Pull this air boat out, I guess. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same here anyway. But that makes it easier to pull the carb off. Ta da! So that's the 27. Oof. And this is the 30. You can tell by the gasket is closer to the to the bolt pattern here. You can tell how much bigger it is there. So this is the 27. This is the 30. So this is the 30 millimeter PZ30 off Amazon. This is the PZ27. And this is the Amazon PZ26, which is the same size as factory. And you can tell a big difference between the factory throttle slide and PZ30. So this is the factory size carburetor and this is the PZ30 carburetor. It's much bigger, bigger here, bigger in the throttle slide and bigger here as well. But it's the same bolt pattern so it should bolt right on. I like this fuel line that came with this 30 mil carb, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Oh, nice. It's like a glove. So I didn't record the last part putting it back together, but it's pretty much the same, just reverse procedures because I was using my pocket knife to mess with the fuel line and the pocket knife folded up on my, in my hand and cut myself. So I pretty much just shut her down and cleaned up after that. But um, I'm using the supplied fuel line and the clamps and there's a little spacer that came with the carb so I went ahead and put that on there and the studs are just just barely long enough for that but and the factory hose did fit I had to stretch it a little bit but it did fit on there so that's good. 
but overall I am happy with the 30 millimeter carb and the big bore kit. Well, there's a chipmunk. What are you doing, Mr. Chipmunk? Oh, I hope he's not living in the Camaro. I'm gonna have to scare him away. So we got the 30 millimeter carb on here. PZ30, it's very similar to the factory style carb that came with this bike and uh, it works pretty good with the big board kit I've got the 70 millimeter piston and cylinder 222 cc displacement so this works better than the PZ27 I had on here previously it seems like a nice seems like a nice little carburetor good quality stuff that came with it and it was, it was actually a cheap carburetor, very affordable. So this intake manifold is actually one or two millimeters smaller on the inside diameter, smaller than this carburetor. So I might port that out or do some port matching later on with, uh, I noticed the biggest restriction now, I think, is the exhaust diameter especially the tailpipe and maybe the valves so you can get a bigger cam like a stage 2 or stage 3 cam for the big board kit and uh, there's also a performance cylinder head with bigger valves so I might go about doing one of those later on, perhaps. I got this measurement device here. And it's barely 20 millimeters. The, uh, the exhaust output there, barely 20 millimeters. So. That's probably one of the biggest restrictive points there. I did modify the internal muffler baffle and I drilled some holes in it and stuff, but but I think this might be a, a pretty big restriction here as well. So I might do like a slip on muffler or something, I'm not sure. So I used the supplied fuel clamps and fuel line, one of the fuel filters. It came with two fuel filters for whatever reason. All right, I took the bike to work today. That's pretty much what I got it for. It was just a cheap commuter. It's supposed to get like 100 miles per gallon, but I'm not sure if it does when you're holding it wide open or not. Anyway. Took it to work today and uh, it's a little bit faster with the modifications. The bigger carb I'm sure helps, but I also went in here and did a modification in here as well. It's a little bit dark, so you probably can't tell, but I took the, uh, the tip, the smallest part of the baffle and I drilled it out with a hole saw, which is the same thing as uh, another guy, another guy did that on YouTube. Life of something, he did it the same way. So that allows me to bolt on the end cap, but it's a lot more flow here as well now. I spilled coffee on here, so it's all yucky.